Do you remember when uh, Jesus is sleeping in the boat and they come and they wake him? And they, they ask him, don't you care that we're perishing? Which is a great question to ask the savior of the world. <laughs> <clears throat> and they're, they're afraid of dying. Jesus wakes up, goes to the edge of the boat. He rebukes the wind and the waves and declares peace. And the whole thing settles down. Here's what, here's what s- strikes me in the story. After Jesus answers their prayer, what, what do you call a conversation with God? Prayer. prayer. It's, I know you don't trust me yet, and I get that. <laughs> I wouldn't trust me if I were you either. All right. But what do you call a conversation with God? We call it prayer. Who is Jesus? He is God. What did they do? They came to him with a petition. What did he do? He answered their prayer. What did he say afterwards? He turned to his disciples who had just prayed the prayer, and he says, how come you don't have any faith? (laughs) What? I thought my job was to pray and your job was to do stuff, right? And yet, in that moment, Jesus turns and he says, how come you don't have any faith? What then was he looking for? He was not looking for those who would petition him to do something. Here's the renewed mind. The renewed mind lives with the realization that sometimes God would rather do something through you than for you. 